tastes like mashed capers on bread. I'm a sucker for runny yolk. Is this an Uncrustable? <laughs> We've got a great breakfast game for you today. It is a, can you guess where in the world oh. these breakfast foods are from? In the world? Whoa. So you're gonna put on your best Carmen San Diego game face and we'll get started. Okay, I should have worn the red hat instead. Oh, Ooh, this looks star. good. <gasps> oh, it smells so good. So here's round one. So we got a bit of rice, we got cucumbers, tomatoes. The egg is classic. Rice? It's not plain rice, there's definitely something there. Mm -hmm. The rice was throwing me off, because this could be like a super American dish, except for the rice with breakfast. Okay. I had an idea, and now the rice is throwing me off. I do I do taste some garlic in the rice, like a little bit. Can I phone Carmen San Diego, please? Who? She's not in. I don't know who that is. This is a bulbous sausage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Best sausage I've ever had. Mmm. Oh my gosh. And then the sausages are like sweet. Yeah. Mm. I'm very happy with this right now. So I went with South Korea. I put Japan. <gasps> it is Poland. That makes sense. That's the right answer. No, I feel like you no. might be right. I feel like it's more of like a Korean barbecue flavor because of the sausage is very like sweet. This breakfast actually comes from the Philippines. The ah! Philippines? Oh, yeah. man. Whoa, we were in generally the generally the right area. Yeah. yeah, see, I had a feeling. I had a oh feeling. Oh my god! This beautiful breakfast platter is called Long Salog. It is made with longanisa sausage, eggs, and umami garlic rice. Umami. Umami. Right. Yeah. Okay, I have a lot of Filipino more. friends who are gonna watch this and be like, you're an idiot. <laughs> like, how do you not know this? No, these sausages, I kid you not, are the best I've ever tasted. Filipino breakfast slaps. Like we gotta, we gotta get more of that. Yo. Round two. So it smells like chorizo. It's very interesting because it's um, it's very spongy but very thin at the same time. It's almost like a crepe. So this tastes like sourdough. Ooh, sour. Ooh. It's got a kick. Spicy. The thing that trips me up is is the spiciness of the of this, this like, meat, meat or whatever. Yeah. Man, that's good. Yeah, that's really nice. Man, that's good. That'll start your day off right. Feel like I kind of know where this is from, but I don't know like specifically where. Me too. Where. I have a region. <laughs> yeah, same. Flat, but it's airy. I went with Nigeria. Yeah, Brazil. Interesting. There are three countries that I would have given you. Ethiopia, Eritrea, or Sudan. Okay, we're completely not on any. This feels more like lunch food to me than breakfast. Ah, uh, it's Ethiopian. This breakfast is Ethiopian. Feet Feet is made with shredded injera bread, which is what that is, clarified butter, Berber spices, and leftover water stew. So mm. similar to how Asians use all the leftovers to make fried rice for breakfast. Yeah. yeah. That's what this dish is for Ethiopia. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Ooh, what is this? So this is round three. Is this an Uncrustable? <laughs> These give me like little cookie pastry French vibe, but the rest of it does not. This texture is insane. It feels like a combination between like bread and like a rice cake. We did an Ooh, episode with like Indian snacks and the fragrances are so similar. Hmm. Mmm, whoa. Whoa, huh? I do very know. flavorful. I have no idea where this is from. That was a flavor explosion. Whoa. Yeah. This is quite filling though, this one. Like, it really sits in your stomach. It's a place that's not afraid of flavors. 100%. And spices. Exactly. If you get the same thing, you're copying me. No, I <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> India. I put India, what'd you put? Vietnam. I would have given you one of two, India or Sri Lanka. Yeah, we got one. <laughs> yeah. You got one, Daniel. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so off. All right, so I got a point now. I'm on the board. Yes. Okay. Idli are a very popular breakfast food in India and Sri Lanka. They are a savory steamed rice cake that are often <gasps> served with various chutneys and okay. sambar, which is a lentil-based vegetable soup. Fun fact, this dish was invented in the 700s. The 700s? This is an old wow. dish. This is a classic. This is literally OG right here. Okay, wait, whoa, what? Here's it's round four. Cheese, yeah. tomatoes, it looks like there's some cucumber, very thinly sliced cucumber. This is a crunchy boy. Mm. 
Well, it has a it has a spread on the base. I think it's butter. Oh, it's like butter lettuce and butter. I could see this being served at a Sunday brunch. I can definitely eat this for breakfast. This is definitely like a bagels and lox kind of dish. That's lovely. That's really nice. All so. I know is it's delicious. <laughs> I'm stuck between two countries, mm -hmm. and they're in two different continents. <laughs> yeah, cheese and butter is very, you know. It's a very European thing to right. do. Right. What'd you put? Okay. I went with Sweden. This just randomly popped into my like head. Like fish I for can't. breakfast, you know? Because I don't think Europeans like raw fish in the morning. You are correct, Brian. <gasps> what? In Sweden? <laughs> Oh my gosh, she is on the money! <laughs> However, this makes so much more sense. I've never had Swedish food, and I forgot that they existed, quite frankly. <laughs> so. so this breakfast comes from Sweden. It is called smorgas. It is really just a Swedish open-faced sandwich. Smorgas comes from the word s'more, which means butter, and goss, which means goose, but it loosely refers to a butter spread bread with lots of toppings. Mm -hmm. Okay. From what store did I buy these all things from? Ikea. Ooh. Yes! Are you serious? <laughs> what this is, mm -hmm. what is this? Oh, already I know what this is. Me too. I love this dish. So this is round five. Interesting. All right, so I see some egg, I see some hot sauce. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. It tastes really good though. Wow. Oh man, it's spicy. Ooh, that's good. That's a like obvious answer that I would choose. Yeah, the carbs and then the protein and the, the cheese. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so good. This is really good. <laughs> These breakfast dishes are mm. not familiar. Delicioso, as they say. I put Mexico. Mexico. You guys are correct. It is Mexico. Yeah, there we go. So Daniel got a second one right. <laughs> what? <laughs> South America is way too broad. I know, Dude. I know. <laughs> These are chilaquiles from Mexico. Chilaquiles, there it is. I was like, what's the word? <laughs> this breakfast is a traditional Mexican dish called chilaquiles, which consists of corn tortillas cut into quarters and lightly fried with sauce before being topped with cheese and other delicious garnishes. This is really good though. I'm a big fan of this. I'm a sucker. For runny yolk. I may be a loser today, but I'm a winner because I got to eat all these different foods that I've never had before. What? Oh, we got pho. So this is round six. Mm. I know exactly what it is. This is exactly what I knew it was. Mm. Right? We're, fe we're feeling this yeah, one. Yeah, I like this a lot. The soup is so good too. Have you had it before? No. You are uncultured. <laughs> uncultured. <laughs> I would never think of this as being like a breakfast yeah. food. I like it though. This one's pretty good. I just didn't know this was breakfast. Are you for real? You're the one for me. <sighs> Eating this is always phenomenal. We will be best friends forever. Ooh, girl. I know this dish right. so well. Because of your confidence. <laughs> <laughs> so I went with Thailand. And we both put Vietnam. Yes, the yes. US is right. If I got this wrong, I would have been so upset. Yes. Wow. Vietnam, oh, that's the one I kept wow. forgetting. Pho was created in northern Vietnam in the mid 1880s and was heavily influenced by both Chinese and French cooking. It's believed that this dish is derived from the French dish pot au pho. It's a breakfast dish because it was heavy enough to get workers through the morning, but light enough that it wouldn't weigh them down. A lot of Vietnamese don't feel that pho is substantial enough for lunch or dinner. Interesting. What? <laughs> and finally, round seven. This is a very black kind of jam paste. That is salty. I've never had Vegemite before. Yeah, I was like, this is Vegemite. Ah, uh, because I've seen this before. However, there are two versions of this thing. Where is Vegemite from, though? Is it? Australia. Is it Australia? Yeah. Oh, that's different. <laughs> that's a no, I do not like that. You just drink it? Like straight black coffee with Vegemite? Okay. That's a strong breakfast. I wasn't expecting that though. <laughs> it's caught in the back of your throat. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. Oh. I don't mind Vegemite. I know people are like weirded out by it because it's like extremely salty, but I think it's good. Have you ever had Vegemite? No, but I think I just did. I've always been really scared. I don't like it. This tastes like mashed capers on bread. Like peanut butter without the peanuts and all salt. Australia. Boom, pow! I'm gonna be mad if it's actually England, because I'm pretty certain that this is Vegemite. It is from Australia. Okay. There we go. Yeah. 
Um, so you are very close because Marmite is from England. Yeah. Okay. Vegemite's brother. Mm -hmm. So we get like half of a point. We have buttered the toast, spread Vegemite on top of it, and served it with a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. So this yeast-based spread is equally loved and hated, and is actually banned in Australian jails because inmates were extracting the yeast to make booze. You can oh, use that to make booze? Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> So, Zarya, with six points, you blew everybody out of the water today. Yay! This is great. That was a lot of fun. I feel like we just um, traveled the globe with our tongue. This challenge, you did phenomenal. And? No, you don't get more than that. Oh. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. What did you think of this delicious breakfast challenge? Did you like it? Let us know down in the comments below, and let us know what else you guys think we should try. As always, be sure to like and subscribe to People vs. Food for more tasty content. Bye, guys! Bye! Bye! Bye, guys! Bye! Still my stomach's